welcome to Vodafone. To discuss the mobile number you're calling from, please press 1. Calls may be recorded for security and to help improve our customer service. Hello, I'm Toby, Vodafone's digital assistant. So that I can get you to the right place, please tell me in a few words why you're calling today. Hello Toby. Um... I'd like to speak with a human being, please. Okay. So I can put you through to the right person. What is it you'd like to talk to us about today? You can say things like, I want to upgrade, or it's to check my data usage. So, in a few words, what would you like to do? Um, I'd like to talk with a, a human being, please. I still didn't get that. Let's try another way. You'll need to use your phone's keypad from now on. If you're calling to report your phone has lost or stolen, press 9. If you'd like to hear your balance, make a payment, or talk to us about your bill, or managing your account, it's 1. For help with phone unlocking, or to activate or swap to a new SIM, press 2. For technical help, or if you'd like to know more about using your phone abroad, press 3. Or if you're calling to check your upgrade date, or discuss a recent order, it's for. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. If you're calling to report your phone has lost or stolen, press 9. If you'd like to hear your balance, make a payment, or talk to us about your bill, or managing your account, it's 1. To hear your balance, press 1. To make a payment, press 2. Or to talk to us about your bill or managing your account, it's three. For security, please tell me your four-digit PIN. If you're in a public place, you can use your phone's keypad. Thanks. We're connecting you now. Hello, could you repeat your name, please? Uh, my name is Yasin from the billing team. From the billing team. Can you can you spell your name, please? Uh, the line's very the line's very poor, and um, your okay, your accent's a little bit difficult to understand. I didn't say anything except welcome to Vodafone. So my name is Yosri Yankee Oscar Sugar Romeo. May I ask you please about your name? My name is Richard. Thank you. And how can I help you today, Mr. I'm having trouble with my broadband. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering if you could check whether or not there is a technical issue, whether I've been cut off, which um, there's no reason for me to be cut off. I'm up to date with my bill. Um, and I, and um, I'm, I'm desperate to get online, mm -hmm. so I wondered um, basically if you could give me any information on why I'm my internet is um, is not working. Please, I've been I've been I've been wait I've been waiting around now for about over five hours. Mm. Um, I've tried it on and off. I tried resetting it, and all it's doing is flashing. So if could. Basically, that's all I want is information as to why and what the resolve can be, please. Thank you a lot for this. Definitely, we can be able to help you about it. And first of all, I would like really to thank you that you passed the security questions through the automated that will allow me to access into the account right now. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you. When it came to the home broadband and that is not working, we need to speak with a technical department. And it is out of hours. So will you allow me to arrange a call back and get you through the technical department for the home broadband? But that had to be at 8 a.m. UK time. Is that okay? Um, well, it's not really okay. I'm desperate to get online. I've been waiting five hours. Um, I'm, not, I'm not being antagonistic with you. I'm being antagonistic with the system. Um, surely, there's, surely you can look on my account... And so I look into the account, I cannot see any more as a billing department. No. I cannot see any restrictions, I cannot see anything. So that's why we need to speak with a technical department. 
and you already made the troubleshoot by switching off and switch it back on again. Yes. And you, you mentioned that you've done the troubleshoot that I could recommend to tell you about. But you've already done the steps that I know. Can you, put me, can you put me through to somebody that can give me a little bit more advice but isn't with the technical department? For example, um, maybe, somebody, maybe there is somebody that, that can tell me whether or not the whole network is down. No, there is nothing for the network. It is not down. So that's why I'm just pleased telling you that it is still out of hours. I, me, myself, will be calling you back to get you through this team and I will be explaining everything to protect you from repeating yourself and it will definitely be sorted out and it will be done for you. We just need to speak with the right team. You said that any team, there is no available any team because this is something technical. There is no bars. I can see from my end that the signal should be working fine. If there is something that is not right, it had to be through the relevant department. Oh, okay. I do understand that I, you've been I, waiting like well, I, if, I mean, it's five hours, and um, you know, I, it's it's quite imperative that I get on at a cer certain times of the day because I I communicate with people that are um, abroad. Yes. And can can I? Could you mind if I ask where uh, whereabouts you are in the world? Yes, we are located in Egypt, Cairo. Egypt. And what's the time in Egypt now? Uh, seven twenty-five. In the evening or the morning? In the morning. 7.25. Yes. It's only two hours between the UK and Egypt. Okay. And can you, can you tell me why... I, I know it's, it's, no, it's no disrespect to you or Egypt, mm -hmm. but why isn't there a British um, call system? Yes, there is a British, but not in a call centre. It is the shop. If you like, want to speak to someone... In the UK people, British people, that will be any retail store, any Vodafone shop, they are British. As for the call centre, it is in Egypt and it is in India. Okay, now can you also, while I'm here, I've got a couple of questions I'd like to ask you. Firstly, um, who do I go to or who do I call or what department do I call to make a complaint It's about, about what? it's about the whole it's about it's about the whole system. It's about the fact that I've got to wait until eight o'clock before I can address my technical issue. When, um, I mean, you're working at seven seven twenty five in the morning. That is not normal office hours. Well, it depends on the UK hours. Now I know, I appreciate that. I do appreciate. That's right. I do appreciate that. I'm not going to go into, all I'm doing is I'm asking questions and just to get an answer because um, I'm very unhappy at the moment with, with the, the service that Vodafone is providing. I'm getting blocked from certain websites on the internet. Um, and it's, I know you can't help me. You, all you can do is put me through to, to a more technical um, advice centre. So I'll finish that um, questionnaire. I've also got, I've got two more questions I'd like to ask. Can you tell me when 5G will be rolled out by Vodafone? 5G regarding the handset or you're talking about the handset? Is that right? It's already been announced at the 5G. I don't want 5G, but so what I want to know is when will 5G be implemented as the mobile service with Vodafone? Do you, know, do you have any ideas on... Yeah. Already, we have the 5G services. Where about? Now I'm in a, I'm in a, um, in Somerset. My on my phone, the the signal at the top says 4G. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm assuming that my service is 4G and not 5G. Is that would that be correct or incorrect? Yes, definitely, it is correct. That is correct. So it's 4G and not 5G. Yes. Okay. Now, how much notice? Will Vodafone give me when they're going to change from 4G to 5G in my area? Will they give me, say, like a month's notice? Or will it be a day's notice? Or will I get no notice? No, definitely. There will be notice and it will be through a text message and it will be more. 
than 30 days. More than 30 because days. Because you mentioned, you mentioned, Mr. Henry, that you're not satisfied, and this is something that is not acceptable, to end the conversation together and you're not satisfied with the service that you're getting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try some troubleshoots to speak with the back office to see if there is anything that we keep able to do through the back office as a workaround to make sure that everything will be back to normal. Could oh. you hold the line for me? I will try this troubleshoot just to deliver for you a good experience. Oh, okay. So from through Egypt to the UK people. Could you hold the line for me? Yes, I can. I d and, you. and before you go, I do fully appreciate the role that you're playing. Um, was it Yosh here? I do appreciate your role. I love the, all the people that I call um, that work for Vodafone. I, I absolutely love everything about them. They've got such a, a lovely manner. They're very helpful. This includes yourself. So I don't want my complaint to be any reflection on the service that you've given me. I just want to assure you of that. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the service I get from the, the representatives of Vodafone. Okay? Thank you. So I will thank you now for your service. For this, by the end of the day, we already present Vodafone, and you're one of our loyal customers. So please let me try to do any troubleshoots to show you that we definitely care about you. Could you hold the line? I'll be quick and fast. Thank you. Thank you. Toby, that's a that's a boy's name, isn't it? AI, normalising AI. Normalising AI. Five G when that comes out. That's the end. This on the screen is um, an ano a sun anomaly. I might upload it. Actually, <coughs> quite an odd spectacle. I'll probably get um, copyright for that. I'll switch off in a minute. Hello, is that? Hello? Yes, it's me. It's Yosra again. Thank Yosra. Yes. So, I spoke with one of our colleagues here, uh, of the out of hours. Uh, they made some troubleshoots into your account. Yes. And um, it should be working fine with you within half an hour. Seven hours? Uh, yes. And uh, also, I will be calling you, if you allow me, within an hour, as a following up, to see what the outcome of the troubleshoot that might be just trying to do through your account. He made lots of things because he was before a technical uh, team and now he is uh, a billing department. I'm just explaining what is happening and why I played the call on hold. And all I'm asking you please, while with me now, I need you to switch it off and then switch it back on and tell me if it is working or not. Could you do this please? Well, funny enough, um, Yosra, it's just stopped flashing. So I'm assuming that it has it's back online. Please, I need just to make sure before we end our conversation together that this issue is sorted. It's very important for me personally and sure for Vodafone to make sure that once you ask for help, we were here even if you are out of hours, even if we don't have experience about it, but we do all the extra mile we this out for you because you mentioned a word that Vodafone cannot accept, which I'm not happy from Vodafone. So could you check it? Okay, well I've just switched it off, and I've just switched it back on. There is something that they've actually done then, they have actually done something that, um, that has switched it on, because it's been on, like I say, it's been on constantly since uh, midnight, it's probably before midnight, and um, it's flashing, it's... It's just sort of warming up. It's got that warm-up flash. Amazing. Um, I, I thank you ever so much. I, 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 you know, like I say, the, te the, te the technology is the problem. And, you know, this advanced, this 5G is, is, is a problem, really. It's, it's, it's just ramping up the, the sort of the, the radiation, as it were, and, and that sort of unnatural... The unnatural frequencies, and I'm, I really am quite worried about it. So that's why I asked about 5G, because as soon as 5G is 
um, is the service that I'm that, that shows up on my phone. That is when I am gonna. That, that's when I'm gonna cancel my. Um, I'm gonna cancel my mobile phone altogether because I can imagine it is gonna be every every. Um, every phone company will be using 5G and I personally I don't think it's safe so that's the reason I ask because as soon as as soon as I see that 5G is the service I am gonna um, I will be cancelling any anything that uses that frequency so that's the reason I'm so concerned and the reason why I asked about 5G it's still flash it's still flash there's another question I've got um, Yosra and it's when I when I phoned up, I got the the artificial intelligent voice me, voice message, yes. and it said it's a lady's voice, mm -hmm. and it's a man's name. It's been given a man's name. Are you aware of that? No, I get reported. Could you give me more information? No, I don't. I don't mind. It's just it's it's, it's happened several occasions, but the. There's a there's a lady's voice. It's artificial. It's artificial voice, but it's it's the, the name of this lady is Toby. Toby, yes, I got the point. And that's a man's name. Definitely, I do understand. <laughs> you understand? It's it's very it's very bizarre, and I don't. To be honest with you, I don't like it. I I I did specifically ask. Um, when I was when when it, when the prompt was, um, what would you like to talk about? I said I would like to talk with a human being. Mm -hmm. Now I'm talking with a human being, but to get to talk with a human being, my problem isn't with billing. My problem was with my internet. But um, just to get to a just to get to a human being, I've had to come through the billing service because there's no other way I can talk with a human being to resolve my issue. And you have you have excelled. I'll say that in getting my service back up because it has stopped. Um, it stopped flashing now. That is an indication of uh, the fact that that it is uh, back online. I will. I will double check. Yes. Um, I just need to explain something that because it's still out of hours, it's only the billing team was available for all customers. So that why when you said you want to speak to me. Uh, in the early morning, uh, because there is lots of things when it's related to customers and customer service regarding uh, um, making a payment, uh, moving bars, restrictions, check bills, all of this, most of the customers do it in early in the morning before going to work, so that is why that is out of hours department which I am working in right now. Yes. Help customer just in case because we are 24-7 when it came to a billing query. Uh, when it came to a technical and home broadband and some issues like this, it will be in the working hours. So, please, I do not want to end the call and you're not satisfied with the service that you're getting from Vodafone. You cannot imagine the word that you said makes like here lots of difference when customers say I'm not happy at all with the service that I'm getting from Vodafone. So that's why I was literally running in the floor. Bless you. And this is, by the way, what I was trained here in Vodafone is whenever a customer called, he had to end the call very happy and very satisfied. And the first thing is to make sure that the issue is suited. So yep. for now, I can see that the issue is suited. It is. The most important part that we came, are you happy and satisfied with the service that you're getting from Vodafone? Yes. Oh, oh every, yes. everyone's... Every, uh, I, I do have issues, but I, and, I'll, and I'll, um, I'll go through this later on because I'm not online yet, but I've got, I've got problems with certain... There's certain websites that I'm blocked from using, and they're, and they're um, it's I'm sort of directed to the uh, the uh, the Vodafone website. Mm -hmm. I need to discuss, and I won't do it now because I'm sort of quite keen to get online, and I don't want to take up any more of your time at the moment. Um, but um, it's it, I, what I need is some sort of advice on how to sort of unblock certain websites. They're you know they're just. That to me, they're normal websites, but I, there's something there's something that's been uh, implemented on my account that that stops me from viewing certain websites. So I'd like to discuss that with somebody uh, later on today. Not not now. I'm. Yes, yes, yes. I totally understand. This certain website through the home broadband or your mobile numbers. Can you, uh, can you repeat that? Websites. Is this for the home broadband or this certain websites for your mobile numbers? 
No, no, it's through. It's through my. Um, I go. I, I. I go through my home broadband through my router, and I'm sort of directed to. Like I said, I'm directed to the Vodafone phone website, and I. Um, is, I think I've got issues signing into it. And I just, I just like to be sort of walked through it. Exactly. I can be able to help you to arrange a call back today later on. Just give me a time and I will be committed to you to get you through one of my colleagues and the relevant team to sort this out for you to make sure that we covered all the points that you want uh, from both of Okay. God bless you, yeah. Um, well, yeah, yeah you, I, I welcome, I welcome uh, a call back from you, Yosra. I, you yes. know, so, um... I don't know, say maybe 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, whatever, whatever suits you really, around about that sort of time. Thank you. Thank you a lot for this. From 9 to 10, wait for a call back from my end to sort this out for you through your home broadband for all the websites to be available for you to access to it during any time, day or night. Yes. I, uh, I will take the ownership for this issue out also, and that will be later on for you to enjoy the time right now. I call you back from 9 to 10. Oh, bless you. Bless you. And is there is there anyone, in between now and then, is there any way you can find out exactly what the technical issue is was yes. as to why my broadband went off? Because I'm very intrigued it, as to why as to why it sort of goes off. It's, a, it's quite rare. I mean, I've been late with my bill payments before now, and it's been cut off then. And, it's you know, that is my fault, but... As I say, I'm I'm up to date. I've been up to date um, for a little while now, so there shouldn't really be any reason as to why it's gone off. And that is that is I need to know w what is happening with the internet, with the with the telephone system, with the mobile system, and particularly with this 5G system because that is my massive, my biggest, biggest, biggest concern is the technical aspects of 5G. That is my biggest concern of everything. The service, the phone service that Vodafone provides is excellent. I, I, you know, and I've been with them for, uh, I don't know how many years now. I've got no need to change. The service I get from the staff, yourself included, is 11 out of 10. So, okay, well, I'll, I'll leave you in peace now, Yosra. I'm just typing after you. You want to ask about the 5G in your area and your phone. You want to know why the phone was being cut off. Uh, sorry, the home broadband, why it's being cut off. Yes. You. And you want to remove the restrictions or any warrant that's placed on the home broadband so you can be able to access to the old website. Exactly that, yes. The answers you will be having once I call you back from, 10, from 9 to 10. Oh, God bless you. Um, Thank you. It was, it's lovely, it was lovely speaking with you. You know your first call in the shift and you turned it to be a good start for me. <laughs> you were in the beginning of the call angry customer. Right no, I wasn't I wasn't angry. I don't get angry with you. I'm angry with the system. I'm not angry with you because because you're the same as me. You're you're working to make to earn a living. That's that's what you're doing. You're not in control of the technical aspects, you're there to to, to liaise to be a human being. I appreciate that. I wasn't angry with you. I was, I was frustrated more than angry. I know. Okay. You're totally right. You're totally right. And thank you a lot for this. Before we end this conversation, did I manage to help you today so far? So Hundred percent. Like all you back. Hundred percent. You've helped me. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So thank I thank you, you so, so much for that. Thank you. No need to worry. The three answers you will be having once I call you back uh, from nine to ten. So that everything out. I need you now to relax, to enjoy the time. <laughs> I contacted you back. Oh, God bless you. Thank you ever so much. Okay, have a fantastic day. Yeah, I will. You made it already fantastic. Oh, good. I hope it gets better, actually. <laughs> okay, thank you ever so much again. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Human interaction. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. And they're trying to take human, in human interaction away from us. You understand it. 